recent sonar scan of the ocean floor, scientists recorded a sound never before heard by human ears. Stop, Make it stop! From Paramount Animation and Nickelodeon Movies. Who wants Krabby Patty? <laughs> the secret Krabby Patty formula. It's gone. Without it, it will be a complete breakdown of social order. Aren't you overreacting a bit? Welcome to the apocalypse. I hope you like leather. To save their world. I smell Krabby Patties from over there. The surface. Oh. All right, all secondary characters come with me. They must come. Ah! Two hours. Huh? What is this place? Maybe this guy knows he looks smart. He's got five heads. Ah! Cotton candy. If you ate all that, you'd have enough energy to run around the whole world. Why is this sugar gonna wear off? In 2015. Krabby Patties! What are you doing with me, Formula? You mean. Me, Formula! It happens when I'm nervous. Attack! To the, the only way to stop a supervillain. Let's take him down. Is to become superheroes. Look at me! Hi, my God! Ah! Is this diabolical thing? SpongeBob! Patrick? Talk to me, buddy. I'm seeing a bright light. Is this better? Much. Thank you. The SpongeBob movie, Sponge Out of Water, in 3D. Justice is best soft served. Maybe we should have picked a better superpower for you, Patrick. I loved the first trailer for this movie, and I loved the second trailer. SpongeBob SquarePants, Sponge Out of Water, looks like a really good movie to me. And I'm not even a SpongeBob SquarePants fan. I mean, when it's on, I'll watch it, I'll laugh a little bit, but I'm not the one to turn it on. And I didn't even like the first SpongeBob SquarePants movie. But for some reason, this one's coming together really nicely. And you might have noticed that it's coming out in the first weekend of February 2015, which was the spot the Lego Movie took last year. And that might become uh, a regular spot for Hollywood to put out these, you know, seemingly kids-oriented films on the surface, which are really full of uh, intelligent humor aimed at adults. And I would not complain about that because it would be a good time at the movies for me and I think many of us. Uh, I also think what's working here is the way these characters have been uh, brought into 3D live a in a live action world. I think that while Alvin and the Chipmunks looked kind of creepy a little bit, I mean their singing is what really I think saved that movie. Uh, the Smurfs kind of worked, but SpongeBob and Patrick and company look, I would say, almost better than their 2D animated versions because they just look like so much fun. Their toys come to life, which is uh, I think fun in and of itself. I also have to give major kudos to Antonio Banderas. He kind of had a back seat in this trailer as opposed to the first one, but you know, he is just really into this. He is committed. Like when he walks back to the boat, I'm like, look at you stealing focus in that shot Antonio Banderas, even though you're in the background. You look great. And you know, Will Ferrell uh, was I think really important to the success of the Lego movie. I mean, they had a very good voice cast overall, but you know, they're not gonna bring in other voice actors here because they have a cast already in place from the television show. But I think having this movie star join the fun, but in a super serious way, uh, like he's really committed, is also going to be a part of this formula going forward. And this movie has it. So I'm very excited. It was a lot of the same material from the first trailer, which is good. I don't want him to give away all the jokes in the trailers. I liked the line about, well, this guy must be smart, he's got five heads. I thought that was really good. Uh, and I also, um, I like the sugar rush with the cotton candy. I thought that was really funny. Uh, but they should pace themselves because February, we have the whole holiday movie season to go. I probably wouldn't have released this trailer until late December, maybe early January because the first trailer was so strong and let people enjoy the holiday films, then get them, get their attention in January when they're like, is there nothing to see now? And you're like, oh, oh there's something to see. And it's SpongeBob SquarePants sponge out of water in 3D, which I will totally see this in 3D because it looks like they're working very hard. The original creative team is back for this movie, as a lot of fans of the show are saying, and I think they're going to work hard to plus this in every direction, and that includes making sure it's worth the 
3D ticket price. And I, I have faith in them. Also, that great joke about the, uh, the soda bottle holder at the end with Squidward, that was really good too. I mean, I know all the names, right? So I must be something of a fan, I guess, at some level. But that was great because, you know, they're sea creatures and those are, that is truly an enemy of the sea. I thought it was great. I really like it. So I'm curious if you like it as much. And what do you think of the pacing? Are you seeing too much? Do you think they need to show you a trailer now? Or would you prefer they wait a little bit? And will you definitely see this movie? And do you want to see more animated movies like this, like the Lego movie and SpongeBob? Do you think this is a good use for the first week, uh, weekend of February? All right, thank you so much for tuning into my review. And you can check out some more episodes right now.